Yo, what is up, guys? It is Regretful Turtle back with another video, and in this video, we're gonna show you how to make a vector poker chip. Now, let's get to it. Let's get to it. So, we're gonna start off with a circle, circles, 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 and then we're gonna go ahead and center it to the page and turn it into a green color. We're going to go with this yellowish green, and then we're gonna go ahead and duplicate that and make another small circle, and then we're gonna make a square, a uh, rectangle actually, and then we're gonna go ahead and put it um, below that middle circle, and we're gonna go ahead and just subtract it after we make it a little bit bigger. We're gonna go ahead and subtract, uh, we're gonna go ahead and make these edges wider and the bottom narrower and then we're gonna go ahead and subtract it from that first circle that way we get that nice curve on the bottom and then we're gonna go ahead and curve the top of the square up and then we're gonna go ahead and move that uh, little radius round thing to for the center to rotate it we're gonna go ahead and put it in the middle and then we're gonna go ahead and just rotate all these squares and uh, make it go around the circle and like this so we can have it at the shape and then go ahead and cut and change the color of the rectangles to a dark green and then get rid of the outline and we're gonna go ahead and just adjust the size here and then after that we're gonna go and just make another circle and uh make it small and we're gonna go ahead and uh, make it about that size and after you make it this size we're gonna go ahead and uh play with we're gonna go ahead and dash it up so we're gonna go to our our stroke property and turn it into dashes and then we're gonna go play with the dashes and uh, we I didn't know how to use this tool at all so I this is my first time using it and so here I am learning it on camera and I had no idea how to get a perfect dash to it like no no idea at all I like tried for a good solid like maybe uh, five minutes I don't know I'm trying to figure this thing out and I eventually did figure it out um, after like playing with it for a good while um as you can see i'm just struggling uh doing three one three eight and then just playing around uh six phase phase six but i think i i don't i don't even know how i did i just found uh a way that it worked just fine here i am looking for a different way to like get that dash look i want without going struggling through this but i just went ahead and kept on playing with it i duplicated it and it's rotated around to see if that would work and uh, it didn't really work it didn't do much of anything so i go ahead and just i figured it out somehow because i went uh one 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 and i guess that was the way to do it and so that worked just fine and i had no idea that that's how you did, did it but it worked and it served the purpose of that dashed look I wanted to get. And I was just playing to see if I could get more or less dashes in because I wanted less and I do end up getting less. So I just stick with that and say, well, that looks good. And so after that, we're going to go ahead and just turn it into a, a dark green color uh, or actually we're going to turn it into a pink color just to give it uh, so like a stand out and from the rest of the design. And we're going to go ahead and just make another circle. And we're going to make this a light green color. Uh, that's going to be the center of the poker chip. And after we get do that, we just adjust a little bit to get a, to get a perfect size. And then we're going to go ahead and just play with these guys a bit more too. To get on the edge. And uh, now, after we get this done, we're going to go ahead and just um, make another circle. And then make a stroke of about eight points and then we're gonna go ahead and just play with this dash again i end up um uh, i thought you could play with the stroke like pressure of this on the dash settings but you can't it's only on solid solid outline stroke so i go ahead and make it to a solid stroke and then just play with the pressure setting and then just um do do it to about that so it's like thick on one side and thin on the other side and then I go ahead and just increase the stroke size. And then after that, uh, we're going to go ahead and just start playing um, with our outer stroke. And we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to make it uh, black at the moment, but it'll eventually be a dark green. And here I am just playing with the squares. And um, I was going to make them wider, but then I decided I didn't like that how that looked. It looks too weird. If I needed to do it wider, I should have done it from the beginning and not from how from there so i go ahead and scrap that idea and just turn them back to the size they were and then we're gonna go ahead and just um play with this a little bit more i wanted to go with the 3d look but i ended up scrapping this idea too because i didn't like how this looked so it's just this was just me playing with it seeing how well i could uh, get this to go and uh 
Yep, I just go, mm, you know what? I eventually just don't. I'm like, nah, see, here's me playing just with, uh, what do you call it, the d <clears throat> the perspective of the shape, of the overall shape, but I decided not to like it and scrap that idea. And so after that, this is, um, I go ahead and just add the heart shape in the heart and the shapes tool and the shapes panel. And then we're going to go ahead and just make it narrow at the top and make it really pointy because this will, will be the spade, the spade icon for what they call the heart of spades or I don't know, spade some, I don't, I don't know, poker or uh, card and names. So, but I know that this shape is like the spade, spade of some. So we we'll go ahead and just do that, and then we're gonna go ahead and make a triangle, put it in, in the center of it, and then we're just gonna go ahead and grab all these shapes, and uh, we're gonna go and just what do you call them? Add them together, add them together to make it to one uh, shape instead of two separate shapes. We we'll just add them together, and then we're gonna put it in the middle of the chip, and then go put go ahead and put it a little bit higher because it looks off, and so we need that optical balance. So that's what we do. And now here I'm just adjusting, uh, playing with the layers and then I'm going to go ahead and add the shadows. So we're going to go cut to squirt circles. We're going to subtract them and then add them to the bottom right corner of the circle and turn it into a dark green. And then I'm going to go ahead and lower the opacity. And then for the highlight, we're going to go with the light green and lower the opacity on that and do one oval and one circle. Now we're just gonna uh, do the shadows for the middle of the poker chip. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we do that by grabbing a circle and then another circle and moving one circle over and then just going ahead and grab all shapes and subtract them. And you get that crescent moon shape and then just add it to that bottom corner of this uh, circle. And then we just duplicate that shadow and then rotate it and put it at the top left corner and we just turn it into a light green so it could be uh, more of a highlight look. And so now that we're getting uh, close to almost being done, we're just putting on some final touches to the illustration. And by doing that, I'm just playing around with the colors of the strokes and we just turn them into a dark green and we add a stroke to our squares and also turn it into a dark green so we could just make it look like one piece one solid piece and um, I have no idea oh I was gonna go ahead and add those white little dots for the poker chip but then I didn't want to uh, because I just realized that it would look too much like that highlight so I just ended up scrapping that idea um, I wanted to do it, but like I said, it would look too much like the highlights, so I decided not to do it. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. So after we get rid of those uh, dots, we're going to go ahead and just uh, we'll keep on. We're going to add some more highlights. Just little, what do you call them? The rectangle highlights, the diagonal highlights, like as if the light's hitting it pretty good. So we go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to do it under the layer of the main outer stroke, but above everything else. And then we're going to turn it to a light green and lower the opacity and just play around with the, with the positioning of them. And we're going to like the look, so I kept it. And then now, I believe we're going to go ahead and just go into Photoshop to finish up the illustration for our Instagram account. My Instagram, Instagram account, Regret Whole Turtle. That's my Instagram account. So now we're gonna go ahead and just uh, put in our vector, our SVG file, and we're just gonna center it in the middle of the document. And we're gonna do a gradient background. We're gonna go from a dark green to a middle green, and then to a really light white green. And then we're just gonna go ahead and start it from the bottom right corner, go up. And then we're gonna go ahead and get that look and then we'll add a shadow and by at, and how we add the shadow is we grab this poker chip uh, layer and duplicate it rasterize it fill it uh, to a dark green put it bump it a few pixels over and down and down and right and then just lower, the, lower the opacity and that's our shadow so thank you for watching I hope you liked it please comment like and subscribe and uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below thanks for watching have a great day goodbye